These are the official kayaks now of the Get Gone With Us gang. They've been branded with our mark. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hello. Today we will be reviewing a new product for you. Now those of you who have been with us since when we started We Are Mud Fun YouTube channel know about all the adventures that we like to go on. But a lot of you may not know that we also love to kayak. And the eye that just popped up will take you to the playlist of our kayaking videos over on the, uh, what's that other one? We, we Are, are Mud, mud Fun. fun. <laughs> and it presented a problem for us to move into Maggie and go out and tour the United States where all the adventures are just awaiting in all the different states. And if we didn't bring the kayaks, then we might miss some good adventures. Yep, but again, our kayaks are 12 feet long. You can't put them on top of Maggie because she's too tall to begin with, mm -hmm. which means they have to go on the Jeep, which means we need to go out and buy a rack for the Jeep. We had one for the Liberty, but when we bought the Jeep, well, we were holding off. <laughs> we were trying to find a good rack for the Jeep. They're pricey. They're not the easiest thing in the world to be putting up on the roof. And then you gotta strap them down, then the whole time you gotta hope that they don't blow off. <laughs> and then that when you're driving bad. around with them, they make this whistling, howling noise. Yep, yeah, so we looked into inflatable kayaks. There is nothing wrong with inflatable kayaks. They're nope. just not for Cheryl and I. So we looked and looked and looked and looked, and we decided, you know what? Forget the kayaks, we sold them. We sold the rack that we had that we can't use. Mm -hmm. And uh, we bought new luggage. We're gonna tour the world now. You're selling Maggie. No. Oh, we're not. All right, what we did find out is, ready? All right, that wasn't graceful. <laughs> Pagayak, the ultimate kayak. So what is it? Well, it's, well, why don't I just show you? I know what you're thinking. <laughs> oh no, they broke their kayaks already. <laughs> no, that's not right. Let us show you what we're talking about. The whole concept behind the Pacquiac is, well, the same as this toy is here. That's Papa Bear. But if I take the top off, there's Mama Bear. I take the top off, there's Baby Bear. I take the top off, there's Goldilocks. And if I take the top off, there's the mouse in the wooden bowl of porridge. This is what's known as a nesting toy because all of the pieces fit inside one another. Now, just as the Goldilocks and the Three Bears was a nesting toy, technically you could call a Pacquiac a, a nesting toy mm -hmm. because it nests inside itself. Mind you, when we show you this thing put together, it's going to be 14 feet tall. I'm about six feet tall. Right now, it's coming in at about three and a half feet. So, yeah, I like the concept behind it. But just to prove it's a nesting toy, <laughs> there's six pieces in here. <laughs> There you go, six pieces. What we're gonna do now is we're going to show you how it goes together. But first, we're gonna show you how it works. Now, each one of these is casted to have a channel in it all the way around, and then they tuck a seal inside of there. And on the male end, it has a protruding edge, which is gonna fit into the channel and compress the seal and make it watertight. How's that gonna happen? Well, with these clips right here. Now, before we put one of these together, I just wanna go over the bag with you that comes with it. First thing, it's on wheels. Can wheel it up to your apartment, yeah. into wheel it a up closet, to your car. into the car. And will it fit in the Jeep? Now, if for some reason you can't wheel it, well, it's got a handle on each side. You can lift it. And it's 59 pounds. Um, I'd rather kayaks with 55 pounds, so that's kind of a wash. You can also, Put it on your back, as Cheryl did when we went down to go see these at a paddle fest. No. <laughs> yeah, but can you carry both of them, hun? <laughs> All right, so we explained the bag to you. We're gonna show you just how simple these go together. Brandy, come on. You don't wanna do it? <laughs> Keep in mind, I've only put together one. Mine, Cheryl put hers together. We were in the basement. So this is the second time putting this together and we're actually doing it on film. This will give you a good idea of what it's like to have hardly any experience and put these together. 
So, you'll undo the two clips on the side, which I've already done. Then, you're gonna grab one zipper, pull it up. Take the other zipper, pull that up. Pull the cover back and over. Every Pakiak is going to have a towel. It's a beach towel. And yes, I suppose you could use it on the beach, but the reason that it is in here, in case you are at the beach, you undo it on the sand. Assemble this on the towel. That way that you're not getting sand all into the seals and that. If you do, just wash it out with water. So, we don't need to use this because our driveway's carpeted. <laughs> all right, we're gonna pull off the first nesting piece. And if you look at it, there are directions right here. They'll tell you how to do it. Now, not only is they there, but they'll also give you a quick start. Touch that on, do it, and repack it. So, they, they only go one way. That just looks better. <laughs> I'm yeah, so the pieces only fit together one way. Unless you're Cheryl and I, we have other ways that we're gonna put the pieces together, but we'll show you that later. All right, then you pull out the second piece. You wanna set it down next to the first piece. You give yourself some room. Now what's gonna happen is the rest of the pieces we're gonna build on top of these. We're gonna end up having two towers and then we're gonna hook them together and then we're gonna have a 14 foot kayak from a three and a half foot pile. Now the next one. All right, anybody can guess? Right or left? Left. Oh, good. <laughs> All right, and before I clamp on that piece on the right, we just wanna show you the clamps. Each piece is going to have anywhere between five and three clamps attached to them. And it will have the male end on one, female on the other, or however you want to call it. If you come over here, this is the what the other end looks like. See this bar across here? You need to know that and that little piece that's coming up down here. That's where the clamp is going to lock into in both those places. So once it's sitting on here, and it's coming across here, you're gonna pull this up, that bar we showed you is gonna lock in here. Then you're gonna pull this back, and when it snaps in, this piece right here that's loose right now, see how it has that little hook on it? That's what hooks in to that piece over here. So once it's on, you can't release it without pushing down on this and pulling back down. Now they say if you have sensitive hands, or the first couple times you do this, you might wanna try gloves because I'm telling you, if this snaps on you, I could imagine it would hurt, and no, I do not know how. <laughs> <laughs> it did not happen to us. We did not use gloves. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set the camera up in some kind of an angle, shooting down while I hook up these two pieces together so you can actually see how it's done. First thing you're going to do is pull off the bulkhead cover so you can get in there to clamp them down. So we'll go with this one first. I'm going to pull it up, get it locked over that rod, pull it up. That one's locked in. You can do the same thing over here. Come up, put it over it. Pull up. That one's locked. This one here. Locked. And locked. Alright, so we're going to continue putting this together now. The next piece is going to go up here. And I'll be doing the same thing, pulling it off, putting the clamps on inside. The ones up front, I just kind of get a feel for. There we go. Now the tail of the bluefin is going to go up here. We're not going to be able to show you this one. We tried, didn't work. <laughs> but in here, there are three clamps that are going to work the exact same way as the rest of them. So, what you're gonna do, you're gonna put it up here, give a little bit of force on it, reach up, grab hold of one of the clamps, and then just clamp it down. That's one, two, and three. This side's done. The very last piece will be the bow. This is just a protective cover so that when this slides over, it doesn't scratch it all up. It's just held on with Velcro. Take the Velcro off, slide it right off. It's gonna be the same method. There are three clamps to lock it on. Just place it on top. Come on up. Some of these you're just gonna to have to feel for. Got that one. Got that one. 
It helps if you apply a little bit of pressure, downward pressure. There you go, the two towers are done. I feel short. <laughs> All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna lay these down and attach them to each other. Just come around, grab hold of the handle, grab hold here. Lay it down. Again, if you're on a beach, lay it on the towel where you're gonna connect. And then the same with this one, grab hold of the handle here. Just sort of closely line it up. There's gonna be five clamps in here that we need to connect to each other. Now when you try to put these two together, this protector may get in the way. This is protecting you from clamps that are underneath and it's also giving you some knee padding. So let's pull it out of the way. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna lock in just this one. This is gonna give you a good example of how we tried to explain it before. There's that bar that needs to lock into that indention and that's the lock for up here. So come across, make sure it's over the bar and watch how it pulls it in. That gives you a good example of how the seal's gonna work, see? Now, this is the lock, and it's locked in there. When you want to unlock it, you pull back on it and release. It's that simple. If for some reason you're pulling and it won't come, make sure that you're hitting this to release it. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna raise the back a little to try and uh, get this a little bit closer. So we're not forcing anything. That's where the seat comes in handy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna lift up the back until it looks like it's fitting, and perfect. <laughs> nice. All right, now I'm gonna finish locking the rest of it down. So, start here, lock, start here, lock. Again, if you pull the pieces together, it gets it a little bit easier for you. Locked in. All right, so then you wanna lift the back, pull the seat out, because that's what's gonna go in next. It's a simple matter of just pulling up on here. Locking it in. You can tighten it down if you want. Right, we'll keep that there. Then you take this, pull it over, and this is for your knees and protection under there. Just tuck it underneath the lips here. And straighten the back out. Pad. There you go. One assembled Pacquiao. Let's go kayaking. <laughs> Not yet. We gotta show them another way that we can assemble it. Sort of like this. Now see if you get different colors, you can have fun putting them together. Look at every other one. <laughs> and we can also do this for those days that you just can't decide whether you want red or orange. <laughs> we can share. Yep, come on, you gotta have a Rudolph the Red Nosed Pacquiac. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Now you might be wondering what to do with the bag if you're too far away from the car. Well, it rolls up into a nice little pack. comes with an extra strap, put it under one of the hand holds, there's one on either side, it straps together into a little pack and if you tighten it up, Nice tight little package. So now we're going to put it into the kayak. We're going to put our seat forward, set it inside, A little bit more back support for you too, hon. Yes, I like that. <laughs> now the foot pegs are adjustable. All you want to do is take this lever right here, pull it all the way up, grab hold of the foot peg and just move it wherever you need it and then lock it back into place. The left and the right work completely the same. 
we did ask about cup holders because our other kayaks had them and we like to have water and Powerade with us and stuff like that. They are working on something, but in the meantime, we found these. Can containers. The orange is from Cheryl and I have a red one. All they do is a lip right around here. Just put it right on. And boom, there you go. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. Chuck is going to show you the breakdown process of the Pakiak. But we're going to speed up the film because this video is getting really long. We had a great time on the water yesterday. We'll put a couple of clips at the end of the video so you can see what we did. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. We've been looking at these on and off for the last two years now, trying to decide which way we wanted to go as far as bringing kayaks where we full time. And we went all the way to New York one day, one Saturday, to a paddle fest. One Five day. hours, round trip. Cold Saturday. Cold Saturday, yeah, we got all the way down there. They said, do you want to try it in the water? And we're like, it's 41 degrees. No, we don't want to try it in the water. So we tried it on the ground. We wanted to sit in them and see how they felt because these were a little bit different than our last kayaks. We also wanted to try them out in the Jeep. So they put them in the Jeep for us. Yeah, yeah, very, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> they fit in the Jeep without a problem. Unfortunately, they don't fit in any of these compartments. Just, the compartments are just a little bit too small. Now, to be fair, we have not tried them out of the bags yet, or maybe taking one of the pieces off. I mean, because it's eventually gonna get down to a size that will fit in there. But what we're gonna do until then, is we're just going to throw them in the back of the Jeep because they fit when we're going from campground to campground. Then when we get to a campground, we'll just take them out of the Jeep and when the slides are out, put them back in Maggie. It's not going to be a big deal at all because to use their slogan, it's far better to pack a yak than rack a yak. <laughs> no, I didn't do it justice. It's fine. <laughs> so they do have four different colors. They have surf, which is a teal blue, and that's their signature color. Yes. They have yellow, which is sunshine. They have the orange, which is habanero, and they have the red, which is chili. Yep. Now we will have links to everything you see here in the description box down below. That includes the Pacquiacs themselves, the Aquabound paddles, and the cup holders, which are pretty cool. Uh, is there anything else that we needed to cover in this? <laughs> All right then guys, until our next video. No, if you like this video, <laughs> give us a thumbs up. And if you want to join the Growing Get Gone With Us gang, right down there in the corner, we always tell you, go ahead and click that and you're in like Flint. <laughs> if you have uh, any comments or you can share this or put comments, where's that, Adam? Right down below. I am messing this up, but we're on like take 87 and we're not doing take 88, so. <laughs> so if you have any questions, put them in down below. <laughs> and if you just want to say hi, yep. we'll say hi we'll back. We'll say hi back. Because <laughs> so, until we do another video, I'm Chuck. And I'm Cheryl. We're Get Gone With Us. Bye. Cheryl and I have been testing these out here, seeing how they go in a straight line, seeing how fast we can get them going. And I gotta tell you, they're faster than our old towns were. But to be fair, they're also two feet longer and they are narrower than our old towns were.